Hey, what's going on developers? Welcome back to the Nexus version 14 course with a full stack real estate project. So in this section, we are going to use the intercepting routes and power routes of the Nexus routing system in order to create a model delete property page for deleting the user properties. So here in the previous section, we have created the delete page of the property. You can see it is going to be rendered in this route. And here, if I click on the delete, the property is going to be deleted from our database. So we are going to create another route with a modal page that actually intercept this route, which means actually when we are going to call this route, instead of showing this page, we are going to show the intercepting route page, which as I said, is a modal page that contains this delete property page. So with this introduction in mind, let's get back to the VS code and create the intercepting route. So here, as you can see inside the user slash properties, we have a dynamic route, ID route, and then inside it, we have the delete and edit route. We are going to intercept this delete route. So here inside the properties directory, we're going to create another directory. It is going to be actually the intercepting route. So it starts with a pair of parentheses and inside them, we are going to put one dot. We put one dot because we are pointing to the same level of this intercepting route. We are pointing to this slash ID slash delete, which is on the same level as this intercepting route. Okay. So if the original route was on the parent route, we would need to put two dots inside the parentheses. So this parentheses and dot inside them means that we are going to create an intercepting route. The rest of the route must be the same as the original route. So I create a dynamic route. We're going to have ID inside it. And then inside it, we are going to have a delete route. And then inside this delete route, we are going to create our page. So I'm going to create a page .tsx, and inside this page, we are going to create a page here. Just say intercepting page. Okay. Let's save this and uh, let's get back to the browser. Let's go back to the user properties. Now, if I click on the delete here, instead of getting to the original delete page, we are headed to the intercepting route. But here, as you can see, the route is remained the same. So here, what I mean by the intercepting route, which is a really great feature of the Nexus routing system. And one thing you should know about the intercepting page is that when we are going to a route that intercepted by another route, if we go to the route with a link component or router.push command or a direct function, the Nexus will show us the intercepting page instead of the original page. But if we hard refresh the page, you can see the Nexus this time will show the original page. So keep in mind that when we are working with the intercepting route. So now we are going to render a modal page with the intercepting routes. So when we click on the delete button inside the properties page, we are going to show the delete page inside a model within the user properties page. We are going to implement this modal page inside the intercepting route with another great feature of the Nexus app router, which is the parallel route. So let me show you what I mean by parallel route. Here inside the properties, we are going to create another route. This time it is going to be a power route. So it must start with a at sign. And here let's name it model delete. Okay. Now inside it, we are going to create another page, page.tsx. So here let's create a component. Let's just name it power route. Okay, let's save this. And now we need to go to the layout of the properties directory. So let's close this off and this and also this. So here is the layout of the properties page, which now contains the model delete power route. So here inside the props interface of the layout, we are going to have another react node. We must name it as the same as the power route. So it is going to be model delete. Okay. It should be a react node, just like the children. And now we can grab it from the props of the component model delete. And here we can render the model delete power route anywhere in our layout. So I'm going to put it after the children of this layout. 
model delete. So now if I save this, if I get back to the browser, if I refresh the page, now you can see the power route after the content of the properties route. So here I use a properties page, which is going to be rendered as the children of the layout. And here after that, we are going to have the power route. So now inside this power route, we are going to put a model component. And when we are going to go to the delete page, we are going to show the model inside the power route. So let's get back to the browser. And here we are going to cut the intercepting route and put it inside the model delete power route. Okay, so let's paste it here. Okay, now as you can see, the intercepting route is inside the model delete route. So we need to delete the page itself because now we are going to render the power route when we are going to go to the ID and then slash delete page. And since we are going to create a model which is usually not activated we are going to activate it when we just want to delete a property hence we are going to create a default component inside the model delete directory so when the model is not activated we are actually going to render the default component so just delete the page inside the model delete then create another component we should name it default.tsx and here let's create a functional component okay we should name it default with the d uppercase okay and here we are going to return from this component okay so when the model component is not activated we are going to just render nothing in our layout okay so let's save this and here let's change the name of the export default here and we don't want this line of code okay so let's delete that and let's save that now we are going to create a page.tsx inside the intercepting route which is actually now a power route okay page.tsx and here we are going to create a component okay let's name it model delete property page okay let's just copy that and paste it here and now we are going to use a model component in this page okay so now let's put the model component of the next ui so here i'm going to use a model component that comes from the next ui okay we need to handle the is open with some kind of state here so let's create a state for handling the opening or closing state of this model component so I just prefer to use a use state here is open and set is open we are going to set it to a use state okay and we forgot to put a const here so i put that and the error gone now we are going to set the is open to the is open state that we have just created okay now we are going to create a function for handling the on open change of the model component on open change here so let's create a function for that i'm going to say const i just call it handle cancel set it to a function and here inside this function we are going to send back user to the slash user slash properties so since this is going to be a client component we can't use the redirect function so here first we need to set it to a use client because we have used the model component it need to be a client component and then here inside our component we can create a router object const router and then set it to the returning object of the use router hook so make sure that your router comes from the next slash navigation okay now inside the handle cancel we actually want to send back user to the slash user slash properties so here i'm going to say router dot push and then pass the slash user slash properties okay and then as a last step we are going to set the is open to false now we can call the handle function to this on open change okay and just close the explorer here and then inside the model component we are going to have a model content inside the model content let's create a model header and here let's say delete property now after the model header we are going to put the model body so i use a model body and inside it we are going to put a p tag and say are you sure 
to delete this property okay now after the model body we're gonna have a model footer then inside we're gonna have two buttons the first one is going to be cancel button okay let's have another one this is going to be delete button here let's set the on click event of this cancel button to just handle cancel okay now we are going to set the color of the delete button to the danger and set the variant to light now we need to set the on click event of this delete button for this purpose we are going to create another function handle delete let's say const handle delete and this is going to be a function actually an async function and inside it let's have a try catch block inside the try catch we're going to await for the delete property server action so we need to pass the id of the property that we are going to be deleted so since this intercepting route is inside the dynamic route we can access to the id prompt so we just need to create a interface for this page which contains the prompts inside it so interface props and then inside we're going to have the prompts it is going to be an object and inside we're going to have the id which is going to be a string let's save this and now we need to set the type of the props of this page to props interface and then we can grab the params object out of it okay now here inside the delete property we are going to pass the params dot id let's put a plus before it in order to turn it to a number so after resolving this server action we are going to send the user back to the user properties page so let's just copy this code and put them after the handle delete function okay now for the catch block just capture the error and throw the error and one last thing that we need to implement here in this page is open to true we can't directly use the true here as the initial value of the is open because we are going to show the model page when we are intercepting the route so the model should be deactivated by default and when we go to the intercepting route we need to set it to true we can do that with a use effect hook so here i'm gonna call a use effect hook and inside we're going to pass the callback and inside the callback we are going to set the open to true okay and then we're going to pass this empty error as the dependency error okay so let's save this and i think i forgot to set the handle delete for the delete button so here i'm going to set the on click event of the delete button to handle delete function okay so let's save this now let's go back to the browser if i click on the delete property here you can see instead of the original delete property we are getting a model page inside the parent page but you can see here that the the route has been changed okay so if i click on the cancel you can see we are put back to the user slash properties and again if i click on the delete property page but here now if i refresh the page we can see we are headed to the original delete property page so now let's get back to the properties and click on the delete and you can see the property has been deleted okay so that's it for this section you have learned how we can use the intercepting routes feature of the nexus app router as well as the parallel routes inside the app router and so far we have completed the user properties page and in the next section of this tutorial we are going to work on our landing page okay so don't forget to hit the bell button to get informed about the next video have a nice time bye bye